All right, so I'm assuming that you downloaded the Xcode project in the beginning of this section. All I did in that project was add two view controllers, put some text views, and added some buttons. That's it. If for some reason you can't download the project, it's very easy to replicate what I did. But if you can, make sure to download it. So let's make two view controller classes called sign in and sign up. Let's link the classes to the storyboards and make all the IB outlets and IB actions that we need. And make sure to make sign in view controller your initial view controller. So in sign in view controller, we want to make sure that every time a user presses sign up, it takes them to the sign up view controller. So in sign up, let controller is equal to storyboard.instantiate view controller. You'll find the identifier in the storyboard, which is sign up. and downcast it to sign up view controller and now present it and for the back button simply dismiss sign up view controller so let's test what we have so far and it works fine now one thing we have to do if I click on a text field, the keyboard covers everything on the screen and doesn't dismiss. We need to fix that. So create a new file called helpers and make an extension of UI view controller. So the first thing we want to do is make sure that when the keyboard moves up, so does the whole view. So write a function called showing keyboard with a parameter notification. In view to load, write notification center dot default dot add observer self the selector is showing keyboard and the name will be UI keyboard will show. UI keyboard will show gets triggered every time the keyboard shows. And when that notification gets triggered, it will call showing keyboard and gives it information in the form of a notification. So inside showing keyboard, we need to extract that information and the keyboard height from it. So right, if let keyboard height is equal to notification.userInfo, subscript UI keyboard frame, as and as value. So user info is basically the information of the notification and from the user info we want the frame of the keyboard. It gives it to us as and as value so we want to convert that to a C direct value. So write dot C direct value and we want the height of the keyboard so dot height. Now write self.view.frame.origin.y is equal to negative keyboard size. So basically we're saying the bottom of our view will start at the top of the keyboard height. Let's test that. And the view moves up along with the keyboard. Now it looks like on my simulator that the text field is not visible, but that's just because of a simulator bug that I had before. It should work fine on your simulator if you downloaded the right Xcode project. Now we need to dismiss the keyboard every time we touch the screen. So inside sign in, override touches begin. So whenever we touch the screen, 
make sure that we end editing. When you end editing, the keyboard moves back down. So write self.view.endEditing true. And let's test that. So it works. Now we need to move the view down along with the keyboard. So declare a function called hiding keyboard. And inside of view did load, declare a notification to call hiding keyboard every time the keyboard is dismissed. The notification is named UI Keyboard Will Hide Notification. And so whenever the notification calls the function, write self.view.frame.origin.y is equal to zero. So it moves it back to the bottom, which is zero. Let's test it. And it works. The last thing to do is the same thing for sign up view controller since it also has text fields. Copy the notifications. Copy touches began, and we're done. Let's test that. And that works as well. In the next tutorial, the real fun will start. We'll start implementing Firebase authentication.